Hi, if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jack and this is our tech news show called Netlink Daily. And if you're a returning subscriber, the news starts in 10 seconds. Industry sources are saying that Google has a bunch of plans for some new hardware. Obviously, Google will be launching their two new Pixel phones this fall, but apparently that's just the beginning. Reports say that the search giant is working on an all-new Pixel-branded Chromebook. Some are speculating that this could be Google's mysterious Project Bison, while others think that this new Pixel Chromebook will be something separate. Another piece of hardware that Google is rumored to be working on is a mini version of the Google Home Smart Speaker. This makes sense since Amazon's own Echo Dot mini smart speaker has been gaining some popularity. No other details about this mini Google Home device, but we should be able to safely assume that it will be cheaper than the Google Home, which is priced currently at $129 US. Finally, Google might be making their own versions of a pair of smart headphones. Details are super scarce, but apparently there will be a Google Assistant button on the left ear cup. Well, that's, that's my left. Th that would be your, your, your left. Uh, uh, mm, bitch bitch! It's official now, Samsung has announced that Bixby Voice will be available in over 200 countries worldwide as a rollout begins today. Yay! The Bixby button on my S8 will finally have a use. Anyway, S8 and S8 Plus users today will be able to ask questions, make requests, and speak to good old Bixby. The only downside right now is that Bixby can only recognize voice commands in US English or Korean. But Bixby's natural language understanding will let it continually improve its ability to interpret regional dialects, accents, and expressions. All you have to do to activate Bixby is of course either press the Bixby button or say the activation phrase, Hi Bixby. I wonder if you can actually change that activation phrase. Hmm. Because, you know, mm, Bixby is just so much more fun. That would be sick. You should see Bixby update roll out to your S8 device near you soon. It's time for an extended lightning round. Intel released a video to help launch their new 8th gen CPUs. In the video, however, a mysterious all-black Microsoft Surface Book makes an appearance. Now, the video could have been edited just to show a cool-looking darker colored laptop, but how sick would it be for an all-black Surface Book? Just think about it. The Nintendo Switch now has PayPal as an official method of payment around the world and not just in Japan. Yesterday we heard about Final Fantasy XV coming to PC and today Square Enix has announced Final Fantasy XV Pocket Edition coming to iOS, Android and Windows 10 devices this fall. Not gonna lie, it looks fun. The people over at Western Digital have just launched a 20 terabyte external storage MyBook Duo for $800 $49.99. It comes ready for RAID use and has two USB 3 ports. 20 terabytes. Damn! If your router at home has been lacking a bit, get your game on with the new Linksys gaming router, the WRT32X, for $300. If you ever wanted to live stream at 4K, Logitech has you covered with their new Brio 4K webcam launching at $200 US. Samsung launched at Gamescom the world's largest QLED super ultra wide monitor with a aspect ratio of 32 by 9 called the CHG90 QLED gaming monitor has a maximum refresh rate of 144 hertz. No word on pricing. And Razer looks to be adding a new key switch to their repertoire, as sources say they're developing an optical key switch nicknamed Razer Purple. Sources for all today's news sources can be found in the N6 forum post linked down below. Why do they call it hypertext? Too much Java. Ah, I see what you did there, black underscore widow, star star, two two three four star star. If you have something for us to say, tweet at us with hashtag and Sax, yo dog, yo dog, we've got less than 10 days till September and that means you have less than 10 days to enter this month's Fans with Benefits contest for your chance to win a NASROCK X370 Killer SLI motherboard. To enter is simple, simply subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips and comment on any video from the month of August. You can comment on as many videos as you like and as many times as you like. This is open worldwide so good luck and get to commenting. Maybe leave a thumbs up if you feel like it as well. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Later fam.
Wow, Barrett was right. This is a, quite a maze to get around.